Now I'm talking very openly who I am, what I do, and uh, I personally think that I'm the little rebel of Hollywood. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Mark. You know, people have called Tommy Wiseau an auteur, a rebel, misunderstood genius. Well, I had the good fortune to sit down with the legend that is Tommy Wiseau. We talked about a wide variety of topics, everything from Hollywood to construction to whether the NFL belongs in Europe. And now you're about to experience the whole conversation for yourself. Enjoy. I'm going to take you back to probably one of the most important nights in your professional life, which was this past year's Golden Globe ceremony, mm -hmm. when the disaster artist is nominated for all these awards. Right. You win for the best comedy or musical. But I didn't win. That's James Franco win. Yeah. But you're up there. Yeah, I was and there. And the microphone's yeah. right there. Right. And <laughs> you can see you lean in because you're going to say something, and then you get right. cut off at the last minute. Mm -hmm. What would you have said to that audience? I mean, you can dream is life, and uh, if a lot of people love each other, the world will be a better place to live. I'm an American. I'm very proud of it. See the room, have fun. <laughs> That's all what I want to say. Could you have imagined that the, the disaster artist, when you first heard that this was being optioned into a movie, could you have foreseen that it was going to put you back into the spotlight in, in such a crazy way and get your movie, The Room, that much more attention? No, the answer is no. I'm an honest guy. So, but however, you know, let me stress that Greg Sister book, Disaster Artist by Greg Sister, long story short, that's the key with the entire thing. So I think personally that Greg didn't get enough credit, and I think it just a snap in the face. That's what I can say, you know. So James Franco grabbed the book and he loved, he loved it, and he said their movie. He optioned the book. Long story short, it's supposed to be a Johnny Depp first, <laughs> playing me. I don't know if you know the story. No. Yeah, that's the story. Then uh, we had a conversation with James and. Uh, where I say, what about James? I say, yeah, that's good. So they did excellent job. As you know, they released DVD and they are also on uh, iTunes and the Blu-ray. So I'm very happy on the finished product. And I think they did a good job. That's all I can say. Okay, today, our top of mountain day. Today, we take first steps on a great journey. After today, which one of ourselves will ever be same. They did a very good job from the beginning to the end. And I didn't like it, the football, you know, because I don't throw at football like that. So <laughs> the way he threw it, I'm talking about uh, uh, James playing me. You want to toss the football around? Yeah, sure. Guy, you monster, him, man. <laughs> By design, the room's supposed to be for American market only. But I didn't realize people like to play football all over. So I'm like uh, maybe, uh, you know, pioneer of promoting football. American football, may stress that because Europe is soccer, as you know. You should get a paycheck from the NFL. I mean, oh, yeah. you're, you're representing their product overseas. You're doing a great job for them. Yeah, you should maybe suggest to them, write a letter. <laughs> I'll write a letter to Roger Goodell right now. Please let him know, do. hey, this guy's Thank selling you. your product better than you are. There you go. I want to know how many footballs you guys sold because of the <laughs> <laughs> How many we sold, that's the secret, I cannot tell you. But we are happy where we are. Do you have, a, do you have a, like a, an actual football, like a special life just for the room? Yes, go to TommyWazza.com. Well, you're nothing if not an expert promoter, and, and I think a lot of people knew that about you way back when The Room came out. I mean, I remember seeing one yeah. of the famous The Room billboards. Thank I mean, you. that was a, a culmination. That was an achievement for you for it. See all these people driving down. This is a movie that you put right. your blood, sweat, and tears into, and finally the public was about to see it. What was that moment like? I, you know what, a lot when I was in the uh, Golden Globe Award, people actually come to me and they say, yeah, I saw your billboard with the big stars, of course. I don't want to drop their names, but I met everyone. In the past two years, I noticed that we get really great support from a lot of people, you know, and, and I appreciate that. And now I'm talking very openly who I am, what I do, and uh, I think that uh, I'm a very dedicated actor, you know. There seems to be a real divide in Hollywood between how professional critics right. see a movie and how fans see a movie. And I know oh, I that agree you, with you. Wow. the room has had fans show up for over a decade now to come cheer this years, movie actually. on. More, a little more than a decade. I was shortchanging you. <laughs> I owe you four more years on that. <laughs> and we have 59 anniversary of it. I try to be modest.
Why do you think that critics see a movie one way and fans see a movie a different way? Uh, do you know the expression, monkey see, monkey do? <laughs> yes. Okay, this is it. So if somebody wrote the article, somebody copy article, and somebody say, hey, you know, I saw the room, yeah, it's lousy, this is lousy, everything is no, it's not good. So you see, you as a critic, you should see the movie first, but I think in the beginning of uh, uh, the room, people actually did not see the room. They just wrote about it, very negative stuff. You can, you can do whatever you want. You can be negative. There's nothing wrong with that. But just be honest, you know? You, you don't like this, fine, you know? But if, just review it, be honest. You say, okay, this doesn't make sense, but maybe I like something, you know? Okay, okay, wine. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Take 17. Action. I hit her. No. Do you want to change the line? Script is script. Script says same. You're doing great, man. We'll get there. You seem to be somebody who, you know, going all the way back to your origins, you love cinema. I mean, you love watching movies. I do. What are some of the movies that inspired you to want to be in the film business? Well, you know, the inspired, the words inspire, you, you probably know that I don't like the words inspire because inspire is a big word, <laughs> you know? It just inspire like you're attacking, the words attack you. So I always say that, yeah, influence me to a certain degree, but I think if you want to create something, I believe Shakespeare would say the same thing what I would say right now, that you need a vision, okay? You as a creator, if you have a vision, you will create something and then put together and, and that's what the finished product is, like the room and, and other stuff what I create. Because I'm also a designer, I don't know if you know. You can go to TommyWazza.com. My background is also a business and also steel frame. That's why I asked you about your studio because I'm very impressed. You guys have nice, really cozy space here. I would do it a little different, but it's very nice, very impressive. I like space, space is important. So you're a designer, Yeah. you're a filmmaker, yes. and you know your way around steel beams. Yes, I do, actually. Do you think that you're gonna stick around Hollywood and try to do something else in the world of movies, or do you see yourself moving on entirely and trying to challenge another industry? No, I, I'm staying here and make more movies. We just completed, as you know, The Best Friend, as you know, Rex Estero will be released in March. And then I'm working on the sitcom, The Neighbors. And then I'm working on another movie we'll be announcing in three months. They'll be surprised. That's so exciting. And I'm available, whatever people want to, you know, work with me. It's up to them, so. It's up to them to come to you and say, hey, I got an idea and you're the guy yeah. to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we got it. Okay, it was fun. Yeah. I loved having you here. If, if you could do me one favor, just because my name is Mark, if you could give me the famous line from the sure. room. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Tommy, thank you so much for coming in the studio. We no really problem. appreciate it.